first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our small little screwdriver like this. We're going to come in here. We're going to take this little cap off. Let's see if we can see that. This little cap right up here. We're going to take this off. We're just going to get underneath here with the end of the screwdriver and pop it. And it comes right out just like that. We're going to do the exact same thing right here. Just put it in here and give it a little pull. And we'll open this piece up right here. Nothing in here. There's a screw in the back right over here. Now after we have that screw out, we'll move up to the top here and we'll unscrew these Phillips head screws as well. We'll take them out, put them on the side, don't lose them because you're going to need to reuse these later on. We'll take out the one by the door handle in here as well. You want to check them to make sure that they all look the same because you don't want to uh, put the wrong one in when you reassemble in the wrong hole. All right, now we'll pull this piece here forward up on top where the, um, where the piece of plastic where usually the speaker holder is on there. We're going to pry it with the, with the screwdriver just to pop it out. And there's a small plug up on the top of it. You want to unplug that plug so you can remove it to get it out of your way. So now after we have that taken out, we're going to come up underneath here with a small tool, whether it's a screwdriver or a regular tool that's made to pop off the door panel. If you don't have the right tool, you can use a screwdriver. Just be careful you don't crack anything. Make sure we have no other screws. And yep, sure enough, there's one more screw there. So let's take that screw out before we do anything to pry this out. The way you get it out is just come in here with a small uh, pick or, or anything that'll fit into that hole and just pull it and it pops right out and then it exposes a screw That's underneath the bottom a Phillips head screw So we're gonna put that piece to the side We'll grab our screwdriver and then we'll unscrew that Phillips head screw So that's totally taken out now once this screw is out It should be pretty much ready to come off But look around to make sure you have no other screws in there You don't want to force it and break anything once we're sure all the screws are out, we're going to come in and pop that bezel out of the way so that our door handle that opens the door doesn't interfere with the panel when it comes off. We'll put it to the side, and now we're ready to take off the rest of the door. We're going to grab our screwdriver, or we're going to grab our tool that's made to take the door panel apart. We're going to put it up underneath the bottom. We're going to feel where those little plastic tabs are, and then we're going to slowly pull it. It's going to sound like it's breaking, but it's actually the plastic pulling away from the door. Once you have your, enough room to get your fingers up underneath there, you can just grab it, give it a good tug, and you'll hear them pop out. And then what you do is you bang the top of the door here. towards the glass. And when you're tapping on the top of the glass, the top that hooks onto the door frame itself will pop up. So keep slight pressure up with your knee on the bottom of the panel. Keep tapping it, and it'll pull right up and out. Don't rip it. Make sure you get it to unhook, because if you force it, you're going to bend it, and it will not go back together correctly. So make sure you uh, everything is disconnected, and then just play with it until it pops up and out of there. Okay, that's it. The door panel is now off. Let's go in the back and see what our electrical plugs look like in the back. Now this is the switch in the back right here. This is the switch that opens and closes the trunk release itself. And this is our plug here. So now we're going to come in here with a test light and we're going to check for power and ground right there. So we're going to grab our test light here. Pull our test light. As you can see, it's got power there. And it's got nothing there. So now I'm going to just leave this connected. Okay, and now I'm going to pull the release. Nothing happens. Okay, so let's manually press this button here. We're going to bring power in. And now you can see the gas cap popped open. Let me show you one more time. Okay, you know what? Let me take this switch out and I'll show you in a, 
you know, while it's sitting on the bench here. I don't know if you can see this too good. Okay, so we have, we don't have any connection right there, a little no power. And here we have power, which is good. So we know that the circuit is good. All right, hopefully you can see this. We have power here. And over here we have nothing. We're going to pull the switch. And nothing happens. Again, power and nothing. But we can manually bring power into this part of the switch here. And you can hear it pop. As you can see, it opens up. Okay, so now we know that everything back here is working properly. And the problem is in this switch right here. All right, so let's take that switch out. This is a tough spot to get in the film it. Okay, just to make this easier so I can show you what to do, I'm going to take this panel off the car itself, and we're going to put it in the back in the trunk, and we're going to work on it. We're going to push these little tabs right in here and just rock it back and forth. That little tab right there, you push it in, and you take this out. Same thing over here. We're going to press this tab in right here. Take that out. Same thing on this one. Press the tab in there. It's the lock clip. We're going to push that clip in. Like that. And we'll unplug this and we can take the door panel and we'll put this in the back of the car right now. Okay, so let's take this piece here out now so we can pop that out. We're going to take out these two screws right here just so we can get in there a little bit easier without breaking anything. We're going to unscrew this one and this one. Okay. We're going to lift off this bracket. Let's take this off of here as well. Okay, we're going to put this off to the side because we are going to reuse this. And now we need to take out that switch right there. And the way you do that is that little tab. Hopefully you can see that little tab right there. You just push it in and push. You get that same tab on the bottom over here as well. that. Save those screws, you don't want to lose them. Okay, and then we'll take our switch, push it, and it comes right out just like this here. And this is the switch that we need to replace. Because remember we had power coming in, but when we pulled the switch it wasn't completing the circuit and therefore we had no power going here and it wouldn't open it up. All right, so let's uh, let's order up a new switch for it. We'll get the new switch, and we'll put this job back together, and we'll get this job out the door. Okay, well, we just got off the phone with the uh, with the Hyundai dealer. They do not have it in stock. We have to order it, so it'll take a day or two to get it. And once we get the uh, the switch in hand, we'll put this job back together. But that's pretty much it. Just check your your power coming in. When you pull the switch and it doesn't open, check to make sure power out. If you have a power probe or some kind of a device that you can bring power into it, you can jump it out. And if the cap opens up, then we know the switch is no good. All right, so once we get the new switch, we'll put this back together and this job is done and on to the next one. And now that we have our replacement switch, we're going to come up underneath the bottom. We're going to make sure we have this switch in the correct direction so it's not upside down. And of course, you can tell by looking at the switch itself, make sure that the gas pump picture is right side up. We're going to take the switch, we're going to put it in from the front of the door, pushing it into the back. It is a little bit tight to go through there, so you have to really give it a lot of force to get it to pop into position. So once it pops in and it's locked in place, we just bring our metal bracket over that came off, situated on top of it where it previously came from, and then we put the two screws in there to hold the switch 
in place. It's a, it, an extra reinforcement to hold the switch in place. So once we have those screws screwed in, we're going to put our electrical connector back onto the little tab that it belongs, and then we're going to go up, we're going to put the tool back together, and we're going to wrap this job up. The next thing we do is we just come up underneath here, and we're going to take all of these plugs, and we're going to plug them back in. You just push them until you hear them snap in place. Put this piece back in here. Plug all these plugs back in. Okay. And then we're going to take our door, we're going to hook the top, this top edge on first. It's going to be hooked over the top just like this and you push it down. Tap it down. Okay. And now once it's snapped it up on the top, then you can go ahead and push all these little pins back in position down here. Okay. Let's test this out, of course. And you heard that pop. Okay. Now we're going to come down the bottom here. We're going to see why this is not going in. He has. There it is. Okay, we're going to reinstall the screws that we previously took out. Take this piece here that we previously removed, plug it in here, and then snap this in place. And we have these little pins that go in here. Okay. We're going to take this plug here that came with this. We're going to put it in here. There's only one way it can go in. Line it up with that little groove right in there. And we'll push it in. And last, we're going to take this piece, lift this out like this, slide this over the top, push it in place like this. We're going to put a screw right here. And then push that little tab over. And that's it. Now let's just test everything, make sure it works okay. Now remember, our key has got to be in the on position to test the windows, but this we know works perfectly. Windows work, lock and unlock works, and that's it, we're in good shape.